Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Anime Psycho here and today we're going to be doing a new video. This video is titled, What if Hashirama kept the Biju? Okay, so, Hashirama keeps the Biju. Uh, and after he after his death in the first Great Ninja War, um, they, um, distribute out the, um, Nine Tails to host of every clan, you know, the, you know, the main clans of the series. Not really the main clans, but the clans. Um, with that being, with that being said, they, um, they distribute, they distribute the Jinjata Keys to different clans. One of the main clans obviously being the Uzumaki. And with this being said, the Uzumaki would automatically have to join... The Uzumaki will autom automatically have to join the Leaf Village. Now, why is that? Oh, well, they're the only clan that can actually hold hold up against the Nine Tails. So, inevitably, Naruto would get Naruto would get the um not, not Naruto would actually have a family pretty much. So, how would how would this happen after every every kid's birth? Uh, um, they go. Shikamaru when Shik uh get they went to go shopping. Shikamaru went to get, when Shimaku was born he got it. You know got it. She got half the. No she no no this isn't it. What the world? Oh yes it is. All right you know after 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 um, you know is born she gets half the uh nice half and then Tinto Tintin gets the mean half. Then Choji gets the nice half and uh, Rockley gets the mean half. Uh, I just put out a reaction video on um, reacting to Anime X's, and I didn't like how he made Rockley not get any Jutsu because if you your Jutsu, you, Rockley could have given Jutsu could have given Jutsu because he didn't have lots of chakra. He had chakra. That's how he got tapped into the eight gates, which really didn't require that much chakra. And it, it, Rockley states himself. I don't have much chakra, that's why I really can't do Jutsu. Alright, let's continue. Kiba actually gets Son Goku, the four tails, the four tailed um, ape, because, you know, you'll see. Neji and Hinata get the five tailed horse. Sakura gets the, you know, the six tailed slug. Shino of the Abarama gets the seven tailed beetle. Uh,. Um, Sasuke gets the eight tail bull, Gyaku, and Naruto obviously gets Karama, which I don't think that no one really cares, but never mind. Okay, so you'd be wondering, well, how would they all get this? Well, he has the, uh, Hashirama has the Biju, so he just distribute. he decides, let's distribute these to clans, and clans just kept passing them down. And with the Uzumaki clan actually being alive in this, hey, go open the door, Hedre. No, bro. Yes. Making a video. Hedre, I will. This man will get slapped in his face. I will slap him in his face. Okay, with that being said, Kakashi, not Kakashi, the Uzumaki clan will still be alive. So, the Uzumaki will decide we should train Naruto. To have some great shock control and sealing, so he would be able to seal basic weapons, and him and Tintin would get along because of that. Okay, so fast forward about twelve years, we don't we don't care about the academy. They are they basically all just get their own little classroom, you know, separated from everybody else. They realize how people hate them because of the key, which causes people to attack them. Now, I probably didn't state this, but for the bottom first five minutes of the video, it will go s slightly different, but similar to Anime X's. Now we take a big turn here. Okay, so Donzo gets to me, he's like, hello, my weapons. Huh. So none of you except the, those three of high-ranking clans, the four of the high-ranking clans, have have really strong Jinjutsu, and they're like, what? We don't have a strong, and Neji and Hinata are like, we don't have that strong of Jinjutsu, what do you mean? 
I know, but your Keke Genkai makes your Jinjeriki stronger. Because now your Jinjeriki has that Keke Genkai only for the time span of your life. And basically, Donzo tells them, I would not let any of you go crazy or lose control. Here's this. Find something, find something to fill that gaping hole in your heart. And I was like, what gaping hole? And they all just look back and I'm like, wait a minute. You don't feel that? You're like, of course not. What do, what do you guys feel? It's like the hatred of the people. The wanting to lose all control and destroy everything. And I actually got the gaping hole from um the Jinjitaki before Killer B. It's like, where's Killer B at? The guy that had the Jinjitaki before Killer B. Miss, who said, B, find, the, find something that can fill the void within your heart, pretty much. So that's I'm going to apply that to all of them. And it's like, if you can't vo- fill that void, that Jinjitaki would turn on you. like, well, I don't have a void. All I really do is care about my friends and family. And, well, my life's complete. He's like, oh, crap. He already found it. And that's Don's just like, well, seems I can't take this one's emotions away. And that's him thinking to himself, I can't take his emotions away. Sasuke's like, well, my family loves me, but I don't think my father does. I think my father, like you, Lord Donzo, only sees me as a weapon. He's like, well, that's all you are, Sasuke. You're only a weapon. And, yeah. And then Naruto is like, well, since we all graduated, who are our squads be? I'll send you in order. You guys are all Chunin level. So, I'll send you like this. Shikamaru, you'll be the leader of Sasuke, Sok. No, Sasuke, Neji, Hinata. That'll be your squad. Like, alright. And basically, Tintin just is looking away. He's like, I already know he's gonna call me next. I'm like, he says, Tintin, your squad will be Shino, Kiba, Sakura, and Choji. And then basically, Rockley's like, he's like, okay, so who will I lead? And basically, he's like, you already know you who you were getting, right, Rookley? Well, I guess so. I guess I have to get Kiba. He's like, of course you have to get Kiba. You guys will be a two-man defense squad. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Okay, so, Sh- Sh- Shikamaru. Sh- it's Shikamaru, Sasuke, Naruto. Oh, I made a five, I made a five squad, I made a five-man squad. Alright, alright, alright. So it's basically Shikamaru, Hinata, Sasuke, and Naruto. That's a squad. That's Shikamaru's squad. Ten Ten squad is Ino, Choji, Shino. That's their squad. Now Rock Lee squad, it's Rock Lee, Kiba, Neji, and Sakura, they're a three-man squad, because um, Rock Lee actually, he's really strong, but he think only my guy can really control that squad. So my guy basically gets that squad. So there now you're wondering, well, what is it about? Uh, the tuning exam isn't really gonna be between all the different, you know, you know, villages because they are pretty much. Attack the least, so if anybody really come in the village, basically gonna die, pretty much. Alright, so, their first mission is the same. And then we get to the Zabaza arc. Oh, oh poor Zabaza arc. Now, you, you thought, you thought, ah, oh, no, nah, they, 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 they can't really, they can't really do anything against Zabaza, no. <sighs> The, it it was over before it started. Demon Brothers, they get killed by Sasuke and Naruto. Basically, Naruto being raised to know when you're on a mission, turn your emotions off. Only think about the mission and keeping your comrades safe. Sasuke being raised by the um, Uchiha was raised the same way. Basically, take out the Demon Brothers. And you're going to think, oh, wow. They can't even do anything against Zabaza. You dummy. I, 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 won't, 
I won't even let you get a chance. I don't even let you get the chance. Shikamaru, 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 he pretty much decides, huh? So, if these two decided to attack us, of course there's gonna be at least two more. So, he basically, him being raised by the Nara clan, which are really lazy, but Nara clan like getting the job done like that. If they can get the job done like that and over, they're gonna do that. So, they decide to do that. He decides, put um, Zabza under not a genjutsu, but the shadow paralysis technique. What? Yeah, I use one, but I use I I put it back. Okay, so so basically, um, what is that? So he puts Zabuza under the um shadow paralysis, so you know. Shadow possession jutsu. The shadow possession jutsu. And basically uh and right after he does that, you're gonna be thinking, Well Hinata hasn't really done anything. Hinata's scanning the area and she finds she finds Hakun like Naruto Kun does that. Naruto Okay, they, they she can't send Haku yet because Haku staying back and you know, not really doing anything. She can only go 15 meters, and I think Haku would be around 25 meters back. Uh, you know. 25 meters back. Watching the fight. So, uh, with that being said, um, d uh, they take out Zabuza. Haku isn't able to get there fast enough. So they take out Zabuza, and when Haku thought he was about to kill him with a Simba, they actually stab Zabuza in the chest. <laughs> they basically stab Zabuza in the chest while Haku basically throws Simba. Trying. <laughs> well, Haku, Haku's tr basically trying to save Zabuza by ultimately killing him, right? No, it doesn't work like that. He throws the Simba, but Zabuza's already lost enough blood to kill him within minutes but with the symbol hitting him in vital points he dies right there on the spot and Haku's like he's like crap I killed him and he basically is like wow I killed Zabaza and he basically goes crazy and basically get killed by Haku but not Haku basically Sasuke and Naruto gets Naruto, Sasuke and Naruto kills him he's like who are you and state your business? He's like, I'm a servant of Haku. I'm a servant of Zabaza. I'm his main weapon. Haku. And you just got caught in my demonic ice mirror. He thought that, but Sasuke actually put him under a Genju too. And you would think, well, if he's been put under a Genju too, there's really no way for him to win, right? Haku basically uses the speed to just keep running around. But he's, well, that's, that's basically what he think he's doing. But he's actually been stabbed by everybody at the same time. And he's losing blood. And he basically dies too. So the bridge basically, basically gets built. And it's called Genjetiki Bridge. And they basically, they basically uh, come back to the village. And shooting exams happen. Yay, yay. Yeah, no. No. It's not even fun. Because they basically... And you're gonna think, well, now that they actually have the Jujitsu in great working shape, they can actually do this and do that. No. Basically, what the Leaf decided to do is to take over villages. Yeah. During the, the tuning exams... Uh, let, let's just go over this. It's not going to take long. First exam. Happens exactly the same. Beast Force, everybody gets done with that within a day. Tournament. Uh, Yeah, tournament. Uh, Everybody becomes a tuning that are ginger keys. And yeah, sure. All right. So what do you think? They decide to attack, you know. Someone decides to try to attack the leaf village. And who's like, that is the last time I sit back. 
and let my village be hurt by these barbarians. And he basically signs a war de declaration. Basically sends it with the summoning. And the summoning basically gets there within seconds. Within uh, within maybe two hours. And it's going to take at least a four day to get to the... Uh, like We declare war and basically war sirens. And the Sand Village, which I think the Sand Village was the closest. Uh, they basically go to the Sand... Ah! Uh, Naruto Village Maps. Why can't I ever do anything right? <coughs> Alright. So basically... Naruto Village Map. Alright, so... Was the closest land of fire? Wow, it was actually water. Wow, um, um, we gotta take this here and get a better look at that boy. All right, so when you think about it, Konoha is here and pretty much. They wouldn't have all right, so it's it has to be the land of rain, which is a good fit place to start. They nah, they they take out the hidden in the rain, then then they take out the hidden in the sound village, which is actually find out Regimar is the hook, not really the Kage, but they basically take it out. They basically kill everybody there. It's not really that big of a deal. They kill all the shinobi there. And then they go to the country of wind. Hidden in the sound. I mean, hidden in the sand. And they basically disperse of their, that kage. And basically make the leader of... Basically, the leader of the... The leader of the... Hmm. Oof. See, we can't really. Alright. The leader of the Uzumaki clan basically is now the Kage of the Hidden Sand. The leader of the Inazuka clan, basically, leader of that. Leader of the. You know. Ichiha, there. Um. Basically, we get um, the boys over there of the Rock, the Hawk Village, is basically now to the Huga, which is perfect for them. Okay, so now you're thinking, well, no, the Lee Village is not. They don't really kill. They don't really kill the Nin per se. Basically, they go to take out. They basically like, listen, you're gonna make me the next Kage. And then they basically sign the paper to make them the Kage of that village and snuff out the old Kage. And they basically do it by fear. And now the Jinjiriki, now not really, alright, the water, I haven't really given the water up any, anywhere. Um, who do I think has an affinity for water? Chargers Clan. Chargers Clan is getting it. I don't care. Okay, Trojan's clan is getting it. So, that's where I'm going to be leaving off this part. Have a great day. Come watch my one, one of my other videos. Goodbye.